So, Bert, the question we all want to know is, how does the icon sound? Well, let's have you hear it. Now, where's Mr. Ears? Oh, he texted me earlier. He is doing his laundry. He's doing his laundry? Did you finish your whites? Oh, well, anyway, let's have you hear what the icon sounds like. So here is our setup. Now, we'll be capturing the sound of the icon using Mr. Ears, which is a high-end binaural microphone. Our recording device is the Zoom H6 digital recorder. We'll also be using an amplifier. Now, I did not want to pick a very high-end amplifier, but a good amplifier that most people could afford, and so I chose the Magni 3. All right, let's have you hear the icon with different types of music. Here is some acoustic guitar music. Now, let's have you hear some classical music. Is... is that Mozart? Yes, I think it is. Um, Mozart, everyone knows that song. Do you think maybe you could play something different? Uh, okay, he doesn't speak English. Um, somebody please Google languages Mozart speaks. Google says he speaks German and Italian. Amadeus, un'altra canzone, per favore. Ah, hello, Mr. Icon. How about some jazz music? Waka waka! sound really good to me. How would you describe the icon? There is a word in the headphone world that sums up the way these headphones sound to me. That word is euphonic, which means pleasing to the ear. They are a very musical and pleasurable listening experience, and the more I listen to them, the more I become absorbed in the music. I am happy to report that these are definitely among some of the best sounding full-sized closed headphones around and one of the top closed-back headphones in my collection. Impressive. So they sound as good as they look. 
Yes, they certainly do. Overall, the icon has a lively, rich, and resolving sound that is just slightly warm. They are not completely neutral, but they are well balanced. They have a very fast decay, yet delicate attack, something that I associate with biocellulose drivers. They sound organic and natural. The icon is very resolving and detailed without sibilance. Can you listen to them for a long time? I can listen to these for a long time without getting tired. Despite their lively nature and the fact that they are detailed sounding, for me, their rich, natural sound makes them a very cozy listen. Is the icon just cozy, or would you say they are cozy wozy? I wouldn't say that they are laid back headphones, so they are not cozy wozy like um, maybe the Sony Z1R. By cozy, I mean they have a pleasing, lovely sound that you just want to curl up and enjoy listening to. Curl up like a cat? Um, sure, like a cat. Yes, I, I, I guess. Wow, these are wonderful and romantic. Somebody please press play. How is the bass on the icon? The icon has wonderful, deep bass extension with lots of sub bass, which is detailed and very clean with a touch of warmth. I love it. Those low notes come through so nicely without any distortion. It transitions very smoothly to the mid bass, which is also very clean and nicely textured. Now, this headphone does not have a big mid bass bump, but the bass punch and impact are very good. What about the mid-range? The lower mids have some warmth, and like the bass, the lower mids are very clean. I absolutely love listening to acoustic music with these, especially strings and acoustic guitars, which sound just wow. The mid-range is lively, and with high-quality recordings, it's just, what's the word I'm looking for? Glorious? Yes, glorious. The mid-range is fast and wonderfully detailed. Male and female voices sound real, reminding me a little bit of the Sony R10 behind me here. The R10 has uncanny, natural sounding voices, and the Icon has elements of that. Personally, I do enjoy the energy and detail on the Icon's mid-range. Now, I should say, while the mids are clear, they are not elevated. So, for example, you don't feel like you're on stage with the singer, but like you are listening to a show from several rows back. With some genres of music, like EDM and hip-hop, I found the mid-range to be a little withdrawn. To me, the music sounds veiled in the presence region. You mean in the mid-range? No, I call it the presence region. The mid-range is not super elevated on these headphones, but it depends on the recording and type of music. This could mean that with some genres, you may have to raise the volume if you want the voices to sound more present. You want more presence? No. And how is the treble? The treble is very alive sounding to my ears, with very good treble extension. The treble sounds airy and with great energy, lots of detail and presence. Now, I can hear some very slight peaks, and if we look at the frequency response, it looks like there's a peak there around 4 and 6K, and another around 10K. The treble is very clear, and it is not laid back. However, these headphones are not sibilant or grating to my ears. I'm able to listen to the icon for long periods without fatigue. Next on the list is imaging and soundstage. The imaging is great for a closed back headphone, and sounds natural. Instrument separation is impressive, and the different components of the music do not sound like they are blurred together. And soundstage? Soundstage was a real surprise to me. Let me explain. See, closed headphones don't usually have a great soundstage, especially compared to open back headphones. In fact, the Icon has a wider soundstage than some open headphones. For example, the soundstage is wider on the Icon than on my Shure 1840s. I'm not sure I completely understand soundstage. Okay, here's a visual image of what these sound like to me. When you put on the icon, it's like you are watching a performance and you are in the middle of the audience. They don't sound like you are in the first row or like you are right on stage with the performers, but rather in the center of the audience, several rows back. And they sound quite wide. 
Oh, I get it. That is you in the audience. Yes. These headphones have a realistic, concert-like listening experience. Bert, where is ZMF located? I think they're based out of Chicago, Illinois. Yay! Go Canada! Uh, Chicago is in the United States. This is a made-in-the-USA product. Well, we will just have to agree to disagree. What about amplification? The icon's level of detail retrieval means that you will hear the flaws in lesser quality music and poor sources. However, it's not really picky with different amplifiers. Can you plug these into a phone? You can, and they will work and you'll hear them. But they sound better with a dedicated headphone amplifier. These have an impedance of 300 ohms, which means they are considered high impedance headphones. Actually, these are the first biocellulose drivers I have ever seen on a headphone that are high impedance. All other biocellulose drivers I have encountered over the years have been low impedance. So the icons require an amplifier? Preferably, yes. The icon sounds good with solid state amplifiers, even out of something inexpensive like the Magni 3 back there. But because they are high impedance headphones, that means they can also be used with OTL tube amplifiers. This right here is the Wu Audio 2, and it is an OTL tube amplifier. What is an OTL amplifier? I don't want to go into too much detail about amplification in this video. But for now, just know that an OTL amplifier means two things. One, an OTL amplifier is a type of tube amplifier. You see these things here that look like light bulbs? These are called vacuum tubes. And number two, an OTL amplifier works best with high impedance headphones. That means greater than 100 ohms. What does OTL stand for? OTL stands for Output Transformerless. It just means that this amplifier does not have an output transformer. No transformer? No transformer. No transformer. No transformer. 